Welcome to Minipi Quarter. The whole master plan has been designed to embrace the green spaces and then ultimately filter that through to the home. It was really um, that notion of extending beyond the front door. Your backyard is actually coming out into the northern quarter and then into Minipi Parklands. This site was really quite unique. It's rare to find something like this uh, in terms of the, the setting that it's in so close to the city in Brisbane and the beautiful natural amenity that surrounded it. it was such a wonderful place to be able to you know, place a community in this sort of setting. The first thing that was really apparent was that we're at the doorstep of Minipi Parkland and so quite uh, obviously it was quite important to connect to, to Minipi Parkland and embrace that connection for the community who's going to live here. We've been able to retain over a quarter of the site which will be open green space or resident amenity. So it makes it very rare and very special. So community vision was more about people coming home and enjoying uh, not just that private retreat, but also getting out and, and, and um, enjoying the amenity that we've created for them. We wanted to come up with a, a, an overall design of the master plan that gave people the opportunity to socialise with their neighbours, to you know, just be outside. One of the things we've done here is, is really try to make sure that when you're in the pool area and the pavilion area, you're actually immersed by subtropical vegetation. From every point in their home, they'll see a green element, and I think that's going to make it the most special. In terms of sustainable development, uh, land is finite in the middle ring of Brisbane and, and in cities generally. And to push people to the urban fringe if they don't have a million dollars to spend is, is unfair and unsustainable. So we play a, a real key part in, in creating affordable housing options connected to the city. So purchasing in a townhome collection like Minipi Quarter allows you to be close to schools, shopping centres, the parkland, the open space, and you're essentially anywhere from five kilometres to eight kilometres from, from any close by amenity. Playing a part in creating something that becomes a part of my hometown is, is a real privilege and, and I respect the responsibility that comes with that. Everything that we're doing here is a legacy, you know, it, it, it's something that is going to be a part of people's lives for, for decades to come. Fraser's Properties latest master plan community located in Carina, eight kilometres from the CBD. My name is Sally Ho and I'll be taking you through the project and the location today. Uh, this section here is where Manipi Quarter is situated. You can also see here that the site is surrounded by beautiful open green spaces. On the north end of the site, we have the proposed Cannon Hill Community Links Golf Course. And we are also adjoining uh, the beautiful 90 hectare Manipi Parklands. We're conveniently located in a very established area. Um, Carina is surrounded by the suburbs Cannon Hill, Camp Hill, uh, Carindale and Cooparoo. So we're very well connected here at Minipi Quarter. Uh, about a three minute drive from the site, you'll reach the Cannon Hill Kmart Plaza. So that has all of your stores such as your Coles, Woolworths, um, as well as restaurants and cafes. So everything you need on a daily basis is basically three minutes drive away. Um, for more of a, a shopping experience, you'll probably just go to Carindale Shopping Centre. I'd like to now take you through our master plan here at Manipi Quarter. The site is 5.2 hectares and it is surrounded by three streets. Thurston Road, Ellen Street and Kate Street. About a hectare of the land is actually dedicated to 20 freehold land lots, as you can see here. It's actually on the southern side of the site and facing Kate Street. It was very important for us to um, maintain that streetscape coming through Kate Street and that's the reason why Fraser's property decided uh, to put 20 freehold land lots so buyers can actually purchase it and build their own dream home on. Four hectares of the site is dedicated to our terrace homes. Altogether, we'll have 172 terrace homes, two bedrooms, three bedrooms and four bedrooms. And we'll be releasing that through a series of uh, stages. 
Features within the terrace home, we have 2.7 metre high ceilings within the kitchen, living and dining level. Um, bedroom levels are 2.5 metres high. Uh, one of the most amazing features of the project is that uh, the terrace homes will have their own landscape courtyards. So uh, the smallest courtyard is sitting at about approximately 30 metres square and our largest courtyard outdoor space is 75 metres square. So plenty of private spaces for the residents. Uh, throughout the, the project as well, throughout the site, we have quite a lot of pocket parks. Uh, so we've got one here in release two and then another one here in, in release three. Uh, All together we have over one hectare of space dedicated to residents enjoyment and amenities. So it's about 11,000 metres square. Adjoining to this parkland we will also have a fully equipped gym which then joins onto a 25 metre lap pool with an infinity edge overlooking the parklands. Fraser's Property Australia has been building communities for over 95 years. Many of our projects have been award winning and no doubt Manipi Quarter will be one of them. We have so much to here to offer our residents. We have parklands, amazing facilities and lots of green open spaces. It's a real community sense here.